good morning children hope all are keeping well with this we will uh, continue uh, similar triangle chapter we had completed thales theorem and we had also proved it now let us prove the converse of thales theorem converse is nothing but the hypothesis and conclusion of the original statement will be reversed it means to say that if a line is drawn such that it intersects ab at b and ac at e in such a way its ratios are equal ad by bd is equal to ab by ec a line is drawn in such a way that uh, their sides ratios are equal then this line must be parallel to the third side this is the converse of thales theorem if a line is drawn to any two sides of a triangle to intersect at any two sides of a triangle in such a way that its ratios are equal ad by db ae by ec if its ratios are equal then this line will be parallel to the third side bc this is the meaning of converse of thales theorem what does it say if a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio same ratio means ad by db is equal to ae by ec then the line de then the line e is parallel to the third side third side is bc whichever side is not divided that we consider it as a third side hope you are able to understand the meaning of the statement if a line is drawn in such a way that the other two sides of a triangles are divided in the same ratio then the line e is parallel to the third side this is the statement of converse of thales theorem what is given in triangle abc de is a line which divides ab and ac in the equal ratio de is a line which divides the side ab and ac in the same ratio or equal ratio in triangle abc de line divides Since I drew DE dash parallel to BC, I have to recall 
hypotenuse theorem. If a line is drawn parallel to any side of a triangle, it divides the other two sides proportionally. So, I have drawn BE dash parallel to BC. Therefore, AD by BD must be equal to PE dash by PE dash EC according to basic proportionality theorem due to construction. BE dash is parallel to BC. Therefore, AD by BD is equal to AE dash by E dash C according to basic proportionality theorem. Children, this is a shortcut of basic proportionality theorem BPT. Now, according to data, according to data, we had divided the line in a such a way that the lines were divided in the same ratio. AD by BD is equal to AE by EC. In data, we had written AD by BD is equal to AE by EC. According to data, AD by BD is equal to, here I have written, here I have written AD by BD is equal to AE by EC. It is given in data. So, I will write it as the reason by data. Sorry, it is written there. I did not see. It is written there. Now, you look at equation 1 and equation 2. How are LHS? LHS are equal. Therefore, RHS must be equal. Means to say, things which are equal to same things are equal to one another according to axiom 1 from 1 and 2 these two are equal A E dash by E dash C is equal to A E by E C I think you are able to understand this is by basic proportionality theorem due to construction and this is by data. So looking at equation 1 and 2 we conclude that uh, things which are equal to same things are equal to one another therefore these two ratios are equal. Look at the figure AE dash by E dash C is equal to AE by EC. Now what are we going to do here? We are going to add one on both sides. Adding one on both sides. To this ratio I have to add one on both the sides. A E dash by E dash C. What I should do? Add plus one in LHS as well as in RHS. A E by E C plus one. So here it's a fraction. Nothing is there means one by one. Take LCM. LCM here in LHS is E dash C. What is remained in the numerator? A E dash into one is A E dash plus E dash into C is E dash C. E dash C into one is E dash C. By taking LCM I have simplified. Here also LCM is EC. AE into 1 is AE plus EC into 1 is EC. By taking LCM I have simplified both LHS and RHS. Now you look at the figure. AE dash. AE dash. Added to E dash C. What do you get? AE dash plus E dash C. I get the side AC. When these two line segments are added, we get another line segment AC. Divided by E dash C. 
in the same way when ae ae is added to ec again what do i get the same line segment ac ae plus ec is also ac divided by ec look at it in the numerator when it is cross multiplied it gets cancelled now we get 1 by e dash c is equal to 1 by ec nothing is there one ac ones are ac ones are gets cancelled by taking the reciprocal on both sides by taking the reciprocal on both sides we get e dash c is equal to ec by 1 either you can write or you can ignore or else directly you can say this implies that e dash c is equal to ec this also you can follow but the uh, step wise i have done directly you can write e dash c is equal to ec how did you get that i have shown the step now look at the figure e dash c e dash c is equal to ec how is it possible i show you ah this is e dash c and this is ec both are equal in length e dash c and ec both are equal how is it possible if ec is 3 cm then e dash c must be also 3 cm if two line segments are of the length 3 cm each it cannot be apart it should exactly coincide with each of each other it should be congruent both the sides are equal and it cannot be one above the other or one below the other it should coincide with each other each other suppose if i have a scale of length 5 cm the other scale of length 5 cm if i keep both the scales one above the other it exactly coincides in the same way both the line segments are equal if they are equal then should then they should coincide each other so it's an assumption e dash therefore e dash and e coincides e dash and e coincides therefore ae ad by bd is equal to ae by ec they are the same ratio they are equal in ratio this implies that de must be parallel to bc if e and e dash coincides then ae by ec will be equal to ad by bc ae dash by e dash c must be equal to ae by bc both are same and hence the chain of chain i hope you are able to understand if you have any doubt you can call me and clarify your doubts thank you children